Silence! Greg Gutfeld, a well-known figure in the media world, is often in the spotlight for his humor and commentary. But did you know about his wife, Elena Musa? She has her own story. Elena is a former photo editor of Russian Maxim. Despite their age difference, they found a connection that led to marriage in just three months. Join us in exploring the life of Elena and Greg and the dynamics of their relationship, Gutfeld's early life. Greg Gutfeld was born on September 12, 1964, in San Mateo, California. He grew up in a middle-class family with his parents, Alfred and Jacqueline Gutfeld, and his siblings. Greg attended Junipero Serra High School in San Mateo, where he developed an interest in writing and journalism. After high school, he enrolled at the University of California, Berkeley, where he pursued a degree in English. During his time at Berkeley, Greg started writing for the school newspaper, The Daily Californian. In the late 1980s, Greg graduated from UC Berkeley with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English. Following his graduation, he began his career in writing and journalism. He initially worked as an intern at the American Spectator, a conservative political magazine based in Indiana. Greg's talent and passion for writing soon led him to become a staff writer for the magazine. Greg's career took off in the 1990s when he transitioned to the magazine industry. He landed roles at several prominent men's lifestyle magazines, including Men's Health and Stuff. His writing skills and humorous style quickly gained recognition, paving the way for more significant opportunities. In 1999, Greg made a pivotal move by joining Maxim Magazine, a popular men's magazine known for its content on lifestyle and entertainment. He relocated to the United Kingdom to work for Maxim's British edition, Maxim UK. During his time there, Greg served as the editor-in-chief, contributing to the magazine's success with his innovative ideas and witty writing style. Greg's experience in the magazine industry provided him with a platform to explore his comedic talents and editorial skills. His early life and career in journalism laid the foundation for his future endeavors in the media world, where he would eventually carve out a niche for himself with his distinct blend of humor and political commentary. College grad to news icon, Gutfeld joined Fox News in 2007 and quickly became a notable figure on the network, known for his distinctive blend of humor and political commentary. One of Gutfeld's earliest roles at Fox News was as the host of Red Eye, a late-night talk show that aired at 3 on a.m. Eastern Time. Red Eye premiered on February 6, 2007, and was unlike any other show on television, offering a mix of news analysis, satire, and comedy. Gutfeld's unique approach resonated with viewers, and the show gained a dedicated following during its run. In addition to Red Eye, Gutfeld became a co-host of The Five, a daytime talk show that premiered in July 2011. The Five featured a panel of hosts discussing current events and political topics. Gutfeld's role on the show allowed him to showcase his humor and wit while engaging in lively debates with his co-hosts. Gutfeld's popularity continued to grow at Fox News, and he became known for his sharp commentary and willingness to challenge conventional thinking. His ability to inject humor into serious discussions set him apart from other media personalities. During his time at Fox News, Gutfeld also made regular appearances on other shows, including The O'Reilly Factor and Hannity. His appearances further solidified his reputation as a knowledgeable, and entertaining commentator. In addition to his on-air contributions, Gutfeld also expanded his role behind the scenes at Fox News. He served as a contributor and writer for the network, providing insights and analysis on a wide range of topics. Throughout his tenure at Fox News, Gutfeld's career continued to ascend. He became known for his provocative commentary and willingness to challenge the status quo. His ability to connect with viewers on a personal level made him a trusted voice in the media landscape. Success with his own shows. After gaining popularity through his roles on shows like Red Eye and The Five at Fox News, Greg ventured into creating his own shows that showcased his distinct style of humor and commentary. In May 2015, Greg Gutfeld launched The Greg Gutfeld Show on Fox News which quickly gained traction for its unique blend of political satire and comedy. 
The show's format included monologues, panel discussions, and humorous segments, attracting a wide audience interested in current events presented with a comedic twist. The Greg Gutfeld Show stood out among late-night talk shows, consistently surpassing traditional ratings in its time slot. Greg's approach, characterized by sharp wit and unfiltered opinions, resonated with viewers seeking an alternative to mainstream media. His ability to tackle serious topics with humor while maintaining a balanced perspective set his show apart. Building on the success of his first show, Greg Gutfeld expanded his presence with Gutfeld, a weekday late-night program that premiered in April 2021. The show, airing on Fox News Channel, further cemented Greg's status as a leading voice in political commentary and comedy. Gutfeld gained momentum quickly, becoming a top-rated late-night program. Its format included segments like The Friend Zone, where Greg interacted with a virtual audience, and The Gutfeld Monologues, highlighting his humorous take on current events. The show's success was attributed to Greg's ability to engage viewers through his unique style and deliver fresh perspectives on trending topics. Political and global involvement, Gutfeld, known for his conservative stance, often expresses his opinions on various platforms, attracting both support and criticism. In 2012, during the presidential election campaign, Greg Gutfeld drew attention for his commentary on Fox News particularly regarding then-President Barack Obama's policies and the Republican Party's strategies. Gutfeld's critiques of Obama's administration, including economic policies and foreign affairs, resonated with conservative viewers. Throughout his tenure on Fox News, Gutfeld has engaged in debates surrounding key political issues. He often addresses topics like immigration, gun control, and health care, presenting his viewpoints with a mix of humor and sharp analysis. Gutfeld's commentary reflects his libertarian beliefs, advocating for limited government intervention and individual freedoms. In 2016, Greg Gutfeld was vocal about the presidential election between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Gutfeld's commentary focused on the unconventional nature of Trump's campaign and the media's role in shaping public opinion. He critiqued mainstream media coverage while offering alternative perspectives on Trump's policies. On global issues, Gutfeld has discussed international conflicts and diplomatic relations. He has offered opinions on events like Brexit, emphasizing the impact of populist movements in Europe. Gutfeld's coverage of global affairs often highlights the interconnectedness of world politics and domestic policies. Despite his popularity, Greg Gutfeld has faced criticism for his remarks. In 2020, Gutfeld made headlines for comments related to the COVID-19 pandemic. His statements about government responses and public health measures sparked debates among viewers and attracted backlash from some media outlets. Gutfeld's engagement with political and global topics extends beyond traditional media. He actively participates in social media discussions, engaging with followers and sharing his perspectives on current events. Gutfeld's online presence amplifies his reach and allows for direct interaction with audiences Despite controversies, Greg Gutfeld remains a prominent voice in conservative media. His willingness to challenge conventional narratives and offer alternative viewpoints contributes to diverse discussions on politics and global affairs. Personal interests and views. One of Greg's notable personal interests is his love for rock and heavy metal music. He often mentions bands like ACDC, Judas Priest and Black Sabbath as his favorites. This passion for music not only influences his taste, but also adds a unique flavor to his personality. In terms of political views, Greg Gutfeld identifies as a libertarian. He believes in limited government intervention and individual freedoms. This perspective often reflects in his commentary on various political issues, emphasizing personal responsibility and freedom of expression. Religion plays a part in Greg's life as well. While not overtly religious, Greg has expressed his respect for religious beliefs and values, often advocating for tolerance and understanding among different faiths. Apart from his professional endeavors, Greg enjoys writing and has authored several books. His works include The Joy of Hate, How to Triumph Over Whiners in the Age of Phony Outrage, and The Plus, Self-Help 
for people who hate self-help. These books reflect his satirical approach to societal issues and political correctness. In addition to his TV hosting roles, Greg Gutfeld is known for his contributions to print media. He has held editorial positions at various magazines, including Men's Health, Stuff and Maxim UK. This experience shaped his style of commentary, blending wit with incisive analysis. Elena Musa's Rise in Fashion Born in Russia in 1982, Elena's passion for fashion emerged early on. She pursued her education at the Parsons School of Design in Paris, a renowned institution known for its fashion programs, which greatly shaped her career trajectory. After completing her studies, Elena dove into the world of fashion, gaining valuable experience and insights. She started her career as a photo editor at Russian Maxim, a popular men's lifestyle magazine, where she showcased her creativity and flair. This role allowed her to collaborate with top photographers, models, and designers, refining her understanding of visual aesthetics and trends. Elena's talent and hard work propelled her further into the fashion scene. She later transitioned to work with prominent fashion houses and publications, including Vanity Fair and Glamour. Her portfolio expanded as she curated compelling visuals and contributed to high-profile projects. Elena's contributions to the fashion industry earned her recognition and respect among peers and professionals. In addition to her editorial work, Elena ventured into the world of design. She launched her own fashion brand, Musa Project, which showcased her unique vision and style. The brand quickly gained attention for its contemporary designs and luxurious appeal, attracting a diverse clientele. The Meet Cute Greg Gutfeld first crossed paths with Elena Musa during a business trip in Portugal back in 2004. At the time, Greg was just starting as the editor for Maxim UK, while Elena was the photo editor for Russian Maxim. This meeting happened when Greg was 39 years old and Elena was 21. Their encounter occurred during a gathering of various Maxim magazines in Portugal. Greg vividly recalls that Elena's hotel room was right next to his a detail that stood out in his memory. Despite this convenience, Greg jokingly admitted to his own laziness for relying on proximity. Upon meeting Elena, Greg had an immediate and profound impression. He famously remarked, that's my wife, demonstrating an instant connection. Despite the significant age gap, Greg's intuition about Elena proved accurate. Throughout the three days they spent in Portugal, Greg was determined to get to know Elena better. However, their initial interactions didn't go as smoothly as he hoped. On the last night of the trip, when some colleagues planned to go out and have a wild time, Greg decided to join them in a last-ditch effort to connect with Elena. As Greg was leaving to join his colleagues, he spotted Elena and decided to take one final chance. He approached her with a sincere compliment, calling her the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. Elena's response, I'd expect something better from Greg Gutfeld, caught Greg off guard, but also intrigued him further. The revelation that Elena was familiar with Greg's work added an interesting twist to their budding connection. She had seen Greg's articles in Russian men's magazines and Maxim, which Greg had not been aware of until that moment. Despite Elena's initial reservations, the two ended up spending the night together, which marked the beginning of their relationship. Elena's multilingual abilities she spoke English, Spanish, and Russian facilitated their communication, further strengthening their bond. Marrying Elena Musa Following their meeting in Portugal, Greg and Elena began dating. They had their first official date in Paris, a romantic city, which further solidified their connection. Their relationship progressed rapidly, and within just three months of meeting, they decided to tie the knot. In June 2004, Greg and Elena got married in a private ceremony in New York City. They opted for a low-key affair, reflecting their desire for privacy. Despite their quick courtship, their marriage has endured over the years, with Elena standing by Greg's side through his career ups and downs. Elena's move from Russia to the United States marked a significant change in her life. She embraced a new culture and lifestyle, supporting Greg as he pursued his media career. Their relationship is characterized by mutual respect and shared interests, with Elena often accompanying Greg to public events and gatherings. The simplicity and speed of Greg and Elena's marriage surprised many, 
but it reflected their personalities and the strong bond they felt from the beginning. Their story is a testament to the idea that sometimes, when you know, you just know. Gutfeld's Family Life Elena and Greg lead a private life in New York City, away from the media spotlight. Despite Greg's high-profile career in television and media, the couple maintains a low-key lifestyle. Elena supports Greg's endeavors, though she prefers to remain out of the public eye. Greg's childhood in California, alongside his family, shaped his journey. He grew up with parents Alfred and Jacqueline Gutfeld, who instilled in him a strong work ethic and values. His father, Alfred, was a veteran who served in World War II. Greg's upbringing in San Mateo influenced his views and comedic style, which often reflects his West Coast roots. Greg's family background also includes his sister, who remains close to him. Details about his family life are scarce due to Greg's focus on maintaining privacy. The Gutfelds, including Elena, value privacy and lead a quiet life away from the media's glare. They share a passion for travel and occasionally share glimpses of their adventures on social media. Despite Greg's busy schedule, he cherishes moments with Elena and their shared interests. Their marriage exemplifies a supportive partnership, and Elena's presence provides stability amid Greg's demanding career. Back in California, Greg's family continues to be a source of support. His sister and parents remain an integral part of his life, offering a sense of continuity and connection to his roots. Relationship in the news. Although Elena prefers to stay out of the public eye, she has made appearances at events with Greg over the years, supporting him in his career endeavors. Greg has often spoken affectionately about his wife, referring to her as the best thing that ever happened to him. Elena's influence on Greg's life extends beyond their personal relationship. She has been credited with helping Greg maintain a healthy work-life balance and supporting his career decisions. Despite Greg's public persona and controversies, Elena remains a steadfast presence in his life. In recent years, fans of Greg Gutfeld have expressed curiosity about Elena's background and their relationship. However, the couple continues to prioritize privacy, rarely discussing their personal lives in detail. Elena's absence from the spotlight has only added to the intrigue surrounding their partnership. Although Greg occasionally shares anecdotes about his marriage on air, he respects Elena's desire for privacy. This mutual understanding has contributed to the stability of their relationship amidst the demands of Greg's media career. Philanthropy and Social Causes Greg Gutfeld alongside his media career has demonstrated a commitment to philanthropy and supporting social causes. One notable cause he's championed is supporting veterans and military personnel. Greg has been involved with organizations like the Freedom Alliance, which provides scholarships and other forms of support to military families. Through his platform on Fox News, Greg has highlighted the sacrifices made by veterans and raised awareness about issues they face upon returning home. Additionally, Gutfeld has supported animal welfare causes. He's been an advocate for organizations like the North Shore Animal League America, one of the largest no-kill animal rescue and adoption organizations in the world. Greg has used his influence to encourage adoption and responsible pet ownership. In the wake of natural disasters, Greg has lent his support to relief efforts. For example, during Hurricane Sandy in 2012, Greg participated in fundraising events and encouraged donations to assist those affected by the storm. His efforts helped raise funds for disaster relief and rebuilding efforts in affected communities. Greg Gutfeld has also been involved in promoting literacy and education. He supported initiatives like the National Public Radio, NPR, book summer reading list, which aims to encourage reading among young people during the summer months. Greg's advocacy for literacy underscores his belief in the importance of education and lifelong learning. Moreover, Gutfeld has used his platform to raise awareness about mental health issues. He's spoken openly about his own experiences with anxiety and depression, aiming to destigmatize mental health challenges and encourage others to seek help when needed. By sharing his story, Greg has contributed to a broader conversation about mental health awareness, impact, and influence in media landscape. His entry into late-night television with Red Eye on Fox News injected a fresh, irreverent style into the genre, demonstrating that late-night programming could embrace unconventional approaches beyond traditional talk show formats. This departure from the norm 
attracted a new audience and set the stage for Gutfeld's subsequent ventures into televised news commentary. Transitioning to roles on shows like The Five and later his own programs, Gutfeld showcased a unique blend of humor and insight that appealed to a broader demographic. By expanding the scope of political commentary to be engaging, entertaining, and accessible, Gutfeld proved that news analysis could resonate with viewers seeking a more dynamic and engaging approach to current events. Gutfeld's approach to controversial topics is characterized by his ability to navigate serious discussions with wit and humor. This distinctive style challenges prevailing norms in media discourse, encouraging audiences to engage with complex issues in a more approachable and nuanced manner. By injecting levity into serious discussions, Gutfeld has transformed the way contentious topics are addressed on television. Beyond television, Gutfeld's influence extends to digital media and publishing. His active presence on social media platforms amplifies his voice and allows for direct engagement with his audience. Additionally, his books, characterized by sharp wit and contrarian viewpoints, have resonated with readers seeking alternative perspectives on politics and culture. Greg Gutfeld's willingness to challenge conventional wisdom and embrace contrarian viewpoints has contributed to a more diverse and vibrant media landscape. His approach encourages healthy debate and critical thinking, fostering a culture of intellectual curiosity and open dialogue. Through his shows and commentary, Gutfeld has become a cultural touchstone, influencing broader conversations about media, politics, and society. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.